Eric from Howdy here, gonna get your Slack app set up with Glitch. Um, so we're gonna go into Slack, where we have our new Studio Bot set up, and uh, our app credentials are here, just for reference. And those are already configured in our Glitch environment variables. Client idea, client secret, Studio Token is in there. We have our port set. Great. So now we're gonna tell Glitch to go ahead and serve our bot by clicking Show Live. And we're not gonna add this to Slack yet. This is just actually setting up the endpoints that we're gonna go ahead and set up for Slack. So copy that glitch URL, and we're gonna go back here and first set up OAuth. And so you just need to go over to the OAuths and permissions bit in Slack. And we're gonna take that glitch URL and drop it in here once this loads. So we're going to add a new redirect URL, and that's going to be your glitch server URL, uh, followed by OAuth. And go ahead and add that. Make sure you save and get a save notification before you move on. All right, so now we need to go ahead and create a bot user. It's really important that you do this step next because it opens up uh, permissions that you're going to need to set uh, for specifically for your bot user. So go ahead and go into bot users. You're going to add a bot user um, with the default username. We're going to always show this bot as online so everybody can always go and talk to it. We like that feature. Um, so once the bot gets added here, We'll see a little success notification. And save changes. And we're gonna set up, after this saves here, we're gonna set up some interactive messages, or at least enable interactive messages for our bot. So this would be step three. So enable interactive messages, paste in that, that glitch URL, followed by Slack slash receive, and enable interactive messages. Wait till you get that success. Even though that looked like it saved, it's, we're going to wait one second here. Cool, success. All right. Now we are gonna subscribe to some events using Slack's events API, and we're gonna subscribe to some bot-specific events that uh, enable the bot to access messages. So we're gonna enable events. Same request URL, that's your uh, glitch URL, followed by Slack slash receive. Then scroll down to subscribe to bot events and add bot user event. So we're going to add message.channels first, message.im, there, message.groups, and message.mpim, cool. So check to make sure that you have those four events subscribed under the bot events. So yeah, yep, okay, and we're going to save changes, great. Now we can go over to our Glitch server and actually add this bot to our Slack team because everything is configured. So click Add to Slack. And you're going to see this authorization screen. Go ahead and authorize that you want your bot to talk to your team. And bam, now we have a link. You can click that link. We'll open up your bot's message to you. It's already sent you a little hello. And you can chat back. Your bot is working now. Congratulations. Join us on uh, community.botkit.ai to talk to thousands of developers and find our team in the Botkit channel. Thanks.